Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. Now, I previously uh, took a look at the H at the Pharos Traveler 137 um, with Windows Mobile 6.1 Professional. It now has Windows Mobile 6.5 loaded on it, and this update will be a free update to Pharos Traveler 137 owners. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly when that update will be available. It'll be uh, eventually up on the uh, Pharos support site, I believe. And I just kind of wanted to walk through some of those uh, changes and updates you might see on your device um, and just kind of take a look at it. Now, I, I went through the hardware before. Uh, the Pharos has a 3 megapixel camera. It's a touchscreen device with a high resolution. Runs on the T Sports 3G on T-Mobile. USA Network, and as you can see there's some buttons here for start, home, end, and send. Um, there's a camera button on one on this side, uh, and then for volume buttons, and then the stylus slot to, up top. But the real uh, changes that we see are in the heart, are in the software. So let me go ahead and turn off the overhead light. This is the today screen, uh, the default today screen that is, as uh, as we see see in Windows Mobile 6.5 with uh, sliding panels, what we've seen in uh, 6.1 on standard non-touchscreen devices. Okay, and then if we, uh, that's the today or screen, now if we tap the start menu, we see there's a three wide grid of, uh, of icons, uh, which are shortcuts. Unfortunately, in the current implementation of Windows Mobile 6.5, you cannot um, do anything other than move these to the top. Uh, you can tap one, and move it to the top, but you can't add any folders, uh, delete one, remove one, um, move it around where you want to or anything like that. So it is a, a bit limited. Um, one of the big things in, uh, in Pharos is they have worked with SPB Software House to create a custom, what they call a Pharos mobile shell, which is the SPB mobile shell, but customized to Pharos. Now it can be confusing. I'm going to go ahead and tap home, and here we go. We are back in the uh, the the uh, Pharos mobile shell. Now, if I tap the once I get into the uh, mobile shell, if I tap the home button now, I end up in the mobile shell home. Whereas if I tap the start button, I will end up in the 6.5 start. But then going again and passing home takes me to the mobile shell. The only way I found to get out of that is you would uh, jump into the uh, applications here. Uh, I believe it's a program. I can't exactly remember where I saw it. But there's a, uh, unfortunately, there's a shortcut here. Oh, it was a, it was a tools. If I tap here. Let's see, this is the mobile shell. I thought it was uh, one of the tools. As you can see, this can be confusing for the end user. However, I'll show you what, what you get to. So, um, we go to tools, and we got there. Show today. If you tap show today, that'll get you back into the Windows Mobile 6.5 uh, today screen. However, if you're using mobile shell, more than likely you don't want to come back to this uh, version anyway because the mobile shell is, is much more functional for you. And then uh, if we do press and hold the home button, which is the end key as well, we will get to the, uh, to the lock screen seen on Windows Mobile 6.5. So now if I press home again, once I'm in 6.5, I get that. Let's just hop down here. To home in the mobile shell, and there we go. Now, if I press and hold the end key, I still, as you can see, will get to the lock screen, unlock it, I'm back in the mobile shell. And mobile shell, as you know, uh, this is the version 3.0 uh, 3 or 3.1. I did a review recently on 3.5, which really adds uh, some great functionality um, and more customizations. Uh, this is the version 3 or 3.1, which is still quite powerful. You know, it has a uh, a nice contact manager and then you can fully customize the device to your liking as far as the home screen and, and shortcuts and things goes. But the Pharos, uh, it's been a nice device. I've enjoyed using it. 
with the uh, T-Mobile 3G 3.5G 1700 MHz support. So far it's been running uh, pretty well on uh, on Windows Mobile 6.5 and uh, it's still fairly new in my hands so I haven't had a chance to to do a ton with it, but it is an option for people looking for a unlocked uh, Windows Mobile 6.5 device running on the T-Mobile 3G network. Thanks for watching.